Point Prep has a powerful 3D rendering system that you can use to examine 3D elements in your drawing, such as service models. I'm going to open up a sample drawing that is installed in your Documents, Microsurvey, Jobs, Examples folder called Joan. Click OK on the unit screen and close the toolbox. This example is typical of a stockpile that was mapped with Microsurvey layout and modeled with Point Prep. To open the 3D viewer, click on the View menu, Rendering, and choose the Render command. Manipulating the view is easy. Double click on an object to set the pivot point, then drag your left mouse button to orbit the view around it. Roll your mouse's scroll wheel in or out, or drag your middle mouse button. You can save your current view by clicking on the Save Camera button, and if the view has changed, you can jump back to it by clicking on the Reload Camera button. In fact, you can save up to 10 different camera views and switch between them using the View Active Camera menu. You can return to a top-down view by clicking on the Preset Viewpoints button, and double-clicking your middle mouse button will show the entire model. Camera views can also be defined in your drawing by going to the View menu, Rendering, and Insert Camera. Let's snap the camera point to the bottom of the ramp, and we'll snap the viewpoint up at the top of the ramp. Camera views can be further manipulated using the View, Rendering, Edit Camera command. I'm going to go to my second camera, and for example, let's move the elevation of the camera point up off the ground a little bit. You can apply a material to your model by going to the View menu, Rendering, Materials. I'm going to select my DTM model, and I'm going to browse to an image file that is installed with Point Prep. It's a sample of gravel. Of course, you can select any typical image file. You can see that the gravel image has been applied across the entire surface that we've selected. In some situations, you may also want to apply a partial transparency. For example, if you're working with more than one surface and you want to be able to see through them. Or if you're working with a shiny or reflective material, you may want to apply a gloss or highlight to it. I'm going to leave these turned off and click OK to save that. If we go back into our 3D viewer, you can see that the material is being applied to your object. And if we want to take a snapshot of that, we can do so by going to File, Snapshot. Use the options to specify your desired resolution. Set your image file name and file type. And click Save.